right, guys, so we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to look at our boy, the new um, Easy Great Ape Raditz, and see how powerful Great Ape Raditz is going to be. Um, remember, that's our boy, Great Ape Raditz, Great Ape Vegeta, and then the Great Ape uh, Kid Goku. Um, they are global first Easy A's. Now, who knows um, what exactly is the reason or the purpose for the Raditz and all of them being global first easy A's. I, I, who knows, right? Well, maybe we'll see uh, more often. Now, we saw that there were, okay, uh, 1.72. His defense was at 100k, right? So, Raditz gets 50% defense on super attack, which is good. But it's like, with him at 100k defense, I saw that, but was that before or after he got the orbs? Because remember... Raditz gets 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets an additional 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained, right? So with those two, plus him getting 50% defense on super attack, I was thinking that he should be able to tank at least reasonably well. Um, when I say reasonably well, I'm thinking like 200k plus, right? I, I Basically, unless you have some sort of like you know, guard, dodge, nullification, something. Unless you've got something like that and you're under 200k defense, like, you suck defensively. That's it, it, just how it is, right? Like, I, I'm really noticing that the community is moving slow in setting their expectations, right? Power creep is exploding constantly. Um, okay, so Raditz, right? Uh, Saiyan War, of course, is one of the stronger links um, in the game. We're going to be able to get to a very, very nice buff from Saiyan Roar on Raditz. So, 92k defense um, is what he's looking like before he gets orbs, right? So, if he's getting 15% defense, he only went up to 123. Well, I mean, that's 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 with four orbs. He went up to a, 123k defense, man. Um, he does get 50% defense on super, right? So, that is going to bump him up to, what, like 180-ish? I mean... It's like, if you're floating him or something like that, sure. Uh, you know, I look at the teams. He's on low-class warrior, giant, um, grade 8 power. Like, some of these teams, like, don't have that many units on it. So, it certainly can help, right? But, like, you know, Goku family, terrifying conquerors, space traveling warriors. I don't, I don't pure Saiyans. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely know that the giant stage of Extreme Super Battle Road is one of the more annoying stages that's in the game currently, right? Like, easily. Um, so, with that stage being a thing, I mean, these three Great Up Easy units, they're definitely going to be useful in there, right? Because the giant team doesn't have a lot of characters that are rocking, like, 200k defense and stuff like that, right? Like, you know, LR Baby and AGL Metal Cooler get, like, blast it out of there so that is something you want to keep in mind all right so this should be a good turn for raditz in terms of his links right yeah we're going to be able to get everything except for transform and shattering the limit active right there um which is good 92k defense it looks like uh, raditz really is a prisoner to the amount of orbs he gets so okay eight orbs right here stuff like saiyan roar is active right um and remember he's going to be getting 50 percent defense after he supers so see that's better Right? So, right here, I mean, he, he's going to be getting about 75k defense after he super attacks. So, we'll be at, you know, like 225k defense. But, you know, it, it, it's definitely going to be situational with some of these links active. So, Raditz has Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. Um, I guess, to be fair, he's not getting a lot of the... Uh, dude, these attack sets are pitiful. Um... He does get an additional 80% attack on super attack if HP is 80% or less. If you get a lot of orbs, you know, maybe he could hit like a 4 million attack or something like that. Sure, but uh, honestly, he's, he's not looking that impressive here. I mean, I, I would say he's probably runnable, um, especially on teams like low class warrior, giant, you know, grade 8 power. You know, these are like small teams where... He, he's, like, definitely, like, an improved addition, but, uh, you know, Great Ape Raditz was looking, like, potentially um, the most improved of the batch and potentially the best of the batch. 
And I'm looking at these numbers by him, and it's just like, ah, I, I do not know. Uh, by the way, Kid Goku, who is now six months old, by the way. Um, you know, just just keep that in mind when you say, oh, Kefla, you know, they're, they're, they're killing Khalifa and Kefla. Their damage is so good. Four million is so impressive. It's okay. It's like, yeah, their, their damage is good once you get, you know, turn 57 and transform with them. All right, nine orbs. What do we got right here? With the 40% support. Okay, that's better. 166k defense as well, right? So with the 166k defense... I mean, he's going to be getting, what, like a good 82k defense on Super? But look at that. Dude, that attack set is so bad. <laughs> and it's like, I feel like if he gets the buff, if we take damage, um, he's probably going to jump up to about like 4 million-ish is what I'm expecting from him uh, with that last buff, right? I mean, that certainly is going to work well because he's going to be getting attack from his attack effect on Super from Orb and then start of turn. Although I believe that the the orbs and the start of turn attack buffs, I believe those are calc like the same way. Um, I'm 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 pretty sure on that. So that that like that's why like the different super like like uh, buffs that would sort of like multiply into each other is the one on super attack and you know start of turn, which we would be able to have like if we go into this next turn under 80% HP, um, we're gonna have that buff active for Raditz. So next turn we're gonna be able to see Raditz. Um, with, you know, hopefully sort of increased damage. Again, I don't... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not very blown away by this unit. Um, I... It, it's just... Great Ape Raditz is like... It's, it's Raditz. Like, I would not... It doesn't break the game if they just decide, they they really just decided F it, dude, right? Like, they made, like, this rat. It's just, like, as good as, like, the Super Saiyan 2 Kefla or something like that. But I don't really feel like we got that. Um, okay, so he's at 84k right here at the start. Now, remember, we're going to get a, a quite a big uh, increased uh, attack from what we've seen from previous turns. Because under 80%, he gets an extra 80% on his uh, super. 145k defense. Remember, he's getting 50% of that. So after supering, he's still going to be about over 200k defense, which is good. Um, all right, so what's his attacks over right here? 4.5. That, that's a little bit better than expected, for sure, right? It's like, so when your health is low, yeah, I mean, there he is up near a 5 million. Like, I'll take that. You have 5 million attacks at him, double supering. So his defense might have been closer to like 250k or something like that. Um, that's, that, that's not bad. Like, this level of performance on this turn from Raditz, I'm okay with. But, I mean, again, the number one spot where Raditz could really... I feel like there's two positions this Raditz can really help. And I'm sort of, like, looking at him. Could he help him? Um, one of them is, of course, Giant Form Extreme Super Roderode. The other um, is the uh, Great Ape Power Mission... Um, for the GT Legendary Goku event. I know a lot of people uh, sort of had difficulties with that, struggled with that when it first came out on Global Dokkan. Um, I think that this guy could assist on that stage. It seems like his power um, is good enough. Because um, as long as we're able to get a couple of orbs for him, you know, probably something like 6+, plus, uh, he'll be good. The only thing is it's like he doesn't create orbs himself. Remember, there's a huge difference between Dokkan Fest GT Goku and Vegeta, who, you know, create the orbs themselves, and they get all these crazy buffs and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, they, you know, you're gonna get your minimum of six orbs, like, pretty much every turn with the GT duo, because they're creating their own orbs. But, like, Raditz, it's not really the same thing, right? Like, Raditz has pretty much gotta be creating that shit himself. Uh, or, like, like, Raditz needs other people to create it for him, is what I mean, right? Um... Nine orbs. I mean, r running a build, you know, this is Goku family slash GT hero. I mean, running this build, right, like, you know, with the GT units, you know, sort of floating around with all these rainbow orbs, we've been able, able to get him um, lots of orbs, but I don't know. I, his, his, with a lot of orbs, right, and with your HP low, he puts up what, like, like I, I would consider, like a, like, a good number for him, like, right around 5 million, above 4 million. Like, for this level of unit, right? Because he's not like a Dokkan Fest CZA or something like that. Like, that's fine. But 
these like two million attack stats with like barely 200k defense like I, I don't know I mean he is a summonable unit dude I I, I would have liked just a little bit more from him I I I, I feel like these great apes they should have just made them busted right like this kid Goku the Vegeta and the Raditz I see no reason why they couldn't have just made them uber broken I don't know um let me know what you guys think of great ape Raditz he seems like he's okay like he definitely can help you out in some events right like again you know extreme giant he'll he'll be a good option there um but like he's not like some god unfortunately uh and it's just it's a, it's a weird global first uh, <laughs> i will definitely end with that an, an odd global first i would say